Nylander. One went down, back in comes Barkov, shoot it, scores! Well, close your eyes if you're a Leafs fan. The team's heading to Florida in the second round of this playoffs against the Panthers, who are now leading, I, I think we can call this a commanding lead, 2-0. So for more on last night's game, the disappointment, we're joined by TSN Bar Down's Eric Kirk. Eric, it started so well for the Buds. I turned the TV on, it's 2-0. I'm thinking, well, they got this game in hand. And then suddenly, Florida came back. Yeah, it looked like we were in for a uh, another game two, similar yes. to what we saw against Tampa in the last series. But credit to Florida. They battled back, and they really gave the Leafs no edge after they got on the board real quick. And for the Leafs, you look at it, I'm going to go as far to say they were pretty much the better team for 50 minutes of that game. They just have to take care of the puck, especially at both blue lines. The, the blue line turnovers are what's killing them. And you look at the second and the third goal for the Florida Panthers. Both came off of meaningless turnovers yeah. trying to exit their own zone. And, and you can't really do that. You're leaving Samsonov out to dry in a way, and it's it's nobody's fault but uh, your own at that point. It's interesting. You talk about being the better team, Eric. In in the last series with the Lightning, there were a lot of commentators, including I think people like you, saying the 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 the, the Lightning. Pardon me. The Lightning seemed to be the better team in many games, but the Leafs were escaping with wins. So it seems like the Panthers are flipping the script in this series. So here we are now. The Panthers have a 2-0 series lead. They're heading home, feeling pretty good. So what do the Leafs need to do as they regroup over these next two days now and figure things out in Florida? Plain and simple, you need to put traffic in front of Sergei Bobrovsky mm -hmm. because he is not getting beat by a clean shot. And the Leafs are doing their part and they're staying out of the penalty box. They're playing a good game. They're moving the puck around. But it seems as if Sergei Bobrovsky cannot be beat. So heading down to Florida for games three and four, keep playing the way you're playing because the better team hopefully usually pulls out the win. Sometimes we saw last series, it, they didn't. We we're seeing this series, they didn't. It's playoffs, weird things happen. But you need to just keep playing the way that you are playing and put pucks on the net. And hopefully a few are going to squeak by Sergei Borowski, who looks virtually unbeatable. I mean, the guy's, the guy's a legend between the pipes. There's no doubt about that. And you're right. I mean, Eric, even during, during the game last night, they kept bringing up the stat of the, you know, uh, opposition zone time of the puck. The Leafs were dominating on that. You know, they had the puck. They were so seemed to be all the stats look good, but it, obviously it comes down to goals and that's not there. Now, there were a couple of interesting things also happening last night. Uh, Bennett laying out a couple of big hits on the Leafs. Nice. Uh, appears to be injured any update there or what might we see uh, based on that last night so that's up in the air having two days off and not playing until Sunday obviously is good for Matthew Nyes and hopefully he's able to stay in this lineup because he's been so good for the Leafs that was a little bit of a weird hit it kind of looked like they got a little more tangled up than anything Nyes was the one who initiated the contact and then did Bennett throw a little extracurriculars <laughs> towards the end <laughs> maybe I, I think it was more accidental and momentum based I'm more interested in the Bennett cross check on Michael Bunting. That yes, was called the double. a penalty. Yeah. But that's you can't cross check a defenseless player on the ice. And we've seen suspensions, we've seen major penalties for things like that. So that's what I expect the league to take a look at when it comes to the two Bennett incidents last night. Yeah, they got a bit of time to review that. Okay, uh, interesting here, and, and Leafs fans hate hearing this because you know, going into this series, suddenly the Toronto Maple Leafs were the favorites to win the Stanley Cup, according to the odds makers. Have those odds changed now? Definitely. The Leafs had the, the major odds to win this series, and now down 0-2, they are now the underdogs to win this series. So if you think that the Leafs are going to make a comeback, you're going to get good value there. But the odds have definitely switched now with the Oilers having the top odds to win the Cup. Okay, Eric Kirk, TSN Bar Down. Appreciate your time this morning. We'll see what happens on Sunday night. I'm sure we'll talk to you on Monday morning. In the meantime, have a great weekend. We'll chat soon. Awesome. Thanks. You too.